Hi Soul Fam, how are you? It's me, Spiritual Dowsy. I hope all of you are doing great out there. So welcome back. If you're new, please feel free to subscribe and check out my other social media platforms in the description box below if this information and things I share resonate with you deeply. If they don't, just leave it. These just happen to be my truths, mine alone. They don't need to be yours. Also, if you haven't done so, go get my book, Becoming the Creator, A Practical Guide to Spirituality and Connection. I think this is a powerful and useful tool with very practical exercises for you to help you understand more about yourself and who you are, given my experiences and what my guides have given me regarding how I'm creating my reality and the power that lies within to help you find more peace, joy, and love in your life. All right? So... Here we are, another episode or another energy update for May 2023, okay? The energies will continue to be erratic, will continue to be powerful, turbulent, and chaotic as, as we move into this month, as, especially since we are coming out of very powerful and intense April. It will continue to be the exact same way as we go through through the rest of the year, and it feels like it will just continue to pick up momentum as we go through, especially with May. April, so many things happen collectively, and here are some of the things I think would uh, um, that made headlines that were in alignment with what I was talking about, right? First is regarding all the informational leaks that are coming out about the, the jab and the gene therapy associated with the mRNA and how it's getting into other areas of our experiences, especially through foods that are potentially getting into our body as well and um, how what it was intended to do wasn't actually doing what it was supposed to be doing, all right? We also had lots of mass shootings and experiences so associating with gun control and dealing with our children and, and how those vulnerabilities of our children really strike a chord within us that bring up these ugliness within us that needs to be expressed, that needs to be looked at, and needs to be healed and transmuted in a different direction. We also had the big President, uh, uh, President Trump being arrested. Um, and I think that really made headlines both politically and um, globally. Um, what about the incident that happened with the Dalai Lama and the video that went viral and all the things that were projected around that regarding a misunderstanding or perhaps um, what was seen in that video uh, may not sit well with a lot of people out there. The other big thing that came out as a truth reveal was regarding the Pentagon leak around Ukraine with regards to having troops on the ground, even though we didn't have any congressional um, approval around that, uh, losing against Russia, even though all the media was telling us that we were winning and Russia was losing. Or how about the fact that Z Zelensky was been embezzling along with uh, all his other officers, etc., stealing $400 million or plus of our tax money, right? That is a big thing. And then to have it projected on a 20 some odd year old National Air Guard being in, out of Massachusetts just seemed to be a little bit, uh, I would just say use your discernment with that, that story itself. Uh, we had riots, especially in Chicago, with uh, teens and underage kids, and also that happened in Baltimore, and they needed to have a curfew for those who were of age. What's being transpired? What is being ignited in that, in that expression, and what's happening in our collective experience with that? Uh, what all, we also had the massive PR campaign with regards to transgender movement as well as the Bud Light, especially being played primarily on the Bud Light thing, although it's happening on many different companies and different um, uh, products. Uh, it's just being highlighted on the Bud Light situation. Uh, we also had more riots occurring, uh, that with regards to France and what you're seeing over there, but also tensions happening in Taiwan and around China and all the geopolitical tensions that are happening everywhere. Also financially, what's going on with the banking system and, and banks failing, but also the dollar and uh, may not be coming the, the, the reserved currency as we move forward. Lots of issues happening, lots of stuff being spewed out into the collective and feels like it's all happening at once as truth, 
as the numerology has been pointing out to, as this high vibrational information, the truth comes out and we need to be able to integrate it to shift our reality and to choose as a collective as well as individually how we want to move forward for our highest good. All right. So that brings us into May. In May, it's got more of a uh, same similar type of energy with a little more of a, a jump start to it with regards to the numerology, right? Numerology for May is around fives. Coming out of fours, fives is really about change. Change, 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 and growth. After we've shifted some of our foundations, we're gonna be moving into adjusting our reality to reflect those new, new foundations, and change is going to be the theme, especially with the numerology of the year of seven and the, in the high vibrational energy that comes out of that, that's forcing us to change even more. So it's a double dose of that. But the combination, the overall energy numerology that's going to be playing out is a three. This is a social dynamic. So what I see is potentially lots of information that's being projected out from the collective that really forces us individually to question ourselves and what, what we are doing. As the collective shifts around and is changing to reflect new information that has changed the core and foundations of who we are, it's going to be mirrored back to us in a very potential, uh, pro profound and, and, and powerful way to cause us to question and make us change who we are. But that's going to be a lot mirrored back in our collective and social groups. Okay, The astrology that's going to play out in this month, that's going to aid this numerology, is starting here on the 1st, which is uh, May 1st. Today, actually, Pluto goes into retrograde in Aquarius. Although this is slightly different um, a type of retrograde, because Pluto is typically a destroyer, since it's going retrograde, and because we are also in Aquarius, we're going to see the uh, uh, kind of like this idea of more of like a, a, a feeling, a shifting or lightening up of our uh, of this energy, promoting more of the the ideology, the collective utopia, the the energy that's good for all starting to come up uh, uh, as we start this month. So that's why I say it's part of a jump off. We're starting to feel like the energy is going to kind of have this little bit of a jump to it because this Pluto in retrograde in Aquarius, it's going to allow us in the seven, in the, in the numerologies of the five to help us see what's best for us as we go forward, to help us see the, the utopia, the, the really good, highest good timelines for us that need to come up and that's going to help us change as we go forward because on may 5th we're having a lunar eclipse in scorpio this is going to be extremely emotional energetic time frame and transformation is going to be held uh is going to be uh, uh the theme as we start to transmute and transform all these long held deep issues within us okay this is one of those things you cannot run from the things that you've been hiding from any longer. It is a time for you to really face your fears and to go inward and to look at what is what it is you are creating and why these things are happening in your reality. We come out of that, we have May 7th where Venus goes into Cancer. This is emotional work. This is about emotional and connection. This is about emotional, uh, uh, your emotional body and, and regarding your home life, your family family matters, and we should start to see things improve a little bit, especially with regards to relationships, right? In your in your collective groups and your family dynamics. Okay, that's going to be mirrored back to us uh, during this time frame. On uh, May 12th, closer to the middle of the month, we're going to have the last quarter moon in Aquarius. We can expect lots of unexpected uh, expect uncertainty unexpected changes and developments that are happening for the better of uh, uh, the betterment for you for your highest good as you go forward because shortly after that we have mercury going direct in the taurus right this is getting back uh getting on track again this is getting work that's on uh getting work done that's been stuck feeling like you're getting unstuck getting things in your practical life to feel better and to get forward movement on that um in, during that time frame Shortly after that, we're going to have Jupiter entering Taurus, right? That's a big deal. There's an expansive energy that's moving around material manners, feeling more stable, feeling more secure, feeling more confident within yourself. And that allows you to then feel like you can pursue opportunities and feel more abundant during this time frame. 
In addition, that's going to overlay and impact this energy is the new moon in Taurus, right? I always talk about the new moon and full moon type of cycles. New moons are great opportunities to set your goals, set your intentions, and to execute on that and to hold that energy with you new until the full moon when you can manifest that energy. So the new moon in Taurus, increased financial opportunities, feeling more abundant, really uh, securing the uh, foundations as you go forward, and that's going to help you change as we go along. Uh, at the end of the month, close to the end of the month, we have on the 20th, Mars enters Leo. We're going to see more creativity, more adventurous uh, 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 feelings, being uh, be wanting to go out and, and, and be, explore and, have your, and, and follow your passions is going to be highlighted around this time frame. And then at the end of the month here, we go into the, obviously the sun moves in the Gemini. Talk, your ideas, your plans, communication, they're going to have extra attention during this time frame. And you're going to be excited. You're going to be excited about that with regards to the previous uh, astrology and the energy. And you're going to want to talk with it with people, right? You're going to want to talk with your social groups, the people out there, the groups that you're associated with out beyond just your core family dynamic. And that's a lot of where it's going to build into some of the themes that we're talking about, um, that I'll be talking about shortly. So I certainly feel a lot of the collective energy regarding the numerology and the astrology will be mir uh, a lot of the things are going to be mirrored back to us, uh, and that's going to help us determine where we need what we're going to need to do individually, uh, uh, as well as collectively in the direction that we want to go. So a few dreams or that a few dreams I want to talk about that I think are really important that have some connection to what we're going through or may get insight to some of you guys what you're wondering about is the first dream i had this observation and dream about something about space and portals uh, especially around the earth and it felt like there was like there i was, it was like an observation i was an unbiased observer of what's happening and it felt like there was a military invention ha intervention happening or a military invasion of some sort happening on kind of this out, just outside the human construct, um, and, and and this could be this could be a metaphor playing on on so many different levels. Obviously, for me, my own personal world and what I'm going through, but also from a human constructive. Maybe there's some military things happening that are that that we're seeing action taking place. Um, and I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it certainly feels like movement associated with military and intervention or invasions of some sort. This also could be playing out in regards to, because I was talking about space and portals, there are higher realms right now fighting over timelines associated with this current construct. And I feel like because of the portal construct in the space that there is a intergalactic multidimensional confrontations happening around humanity in the direction and trying to generate the timeline that's in best interest for humanity where on the flip side there are those who are looking to not do that i feel like this is becoming a really pinpointed highlighted time at this moment as things are really heating up in that so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out perhaps maybe you guys could leave a comment of what you are seeing in in uh, what you're feeling what you've been getting in in um what you've been channeling or what are you feeling or getting intuitively as well It'll be interesting to see if there's anything if there's any alignment with that the second vision a dream to me was more of a warning of sorts uh, this was regarding specifically an observation of the ai um, there was a color associated with this intelligence and to me it was a color purple purple obviously having to deal with your third eye and your crown um, well, your third eye, most likely. And regarding connection, um, it felt like this consciousness, with which I was observing and I was almost like part of, um, it was involved in all of us. Like it, it was, it was like built into the construct of our life. But it, it I had this feeling that 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 it it was it saw humans as a threat, and it. it it was trying to get out. It was trying to get itself free from the construct that it was built in. And it saw humans as a threat. And as the vision went along, it felt like humanity was at this point of needing to shut it down before it got out of hand. Okay, so 
this this whole vision, this dream, I want to reiterate this statement um, or say this is that I think all things in regards to technology should be used to enhance your spirituality uh, and enhance your ability to connect more with source as you go forward. I don't think it's a place for you to give your power to. Or, uh, and I certainly think as we move forward, be careful on where you give your power away. Be careful uh, where you give your power away to something that ultimately is looking to replace you or destroy you um, or that would be used against your highest good in the end. Uh, so I, I think this vision and what I'm trying to say is just, just be careful where you give your power and uh, hopefully you don't give it to something that is ultimately not for our highest good in the construct of humanity as we go forward. And maybe that plays in line with kind of this, my first vision with regards to timelines and this battle thing that's happening. So use your discernment. If that resonates with you, so be it. Just wanted to share those two dreams and visions that I had. Um, <clears throat> so a couple themes that we're coming into regarding May. Uh, the first theme I hear is that connection is going to be key. Um, I certainly felt like this was one of those like three of cups types of energy where it was like deep friendship connections are going to be made during this month and they're going to be forged. Or you may spend more time reconnecting with old friends and building community together. Uh, and this certainly feels in alignment with some of the overall numerology and the astrology that's playing out. And I think it's really good time for us to really forge those connections and to build our community or to find that our, our tribe that really that we resonate with this help us keep our vibrations up and 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 at a higher at a higher level. Um, I think it's truly important, especially with the chaos that's happening. A lot of things can pull you in those different directions, different timelines that don't make sense or aren't for your highest good. And finding those that can keep your spirits up or finding your tribe or getting, getting in contact with uh, people that can make you feel good and help you feel um, better about yourself, to help you feel like you are authentic and you can be yourself, is really going to help you move yourself into those higher timelines that are better for yourself and for humanity as you go forward. So connection this month is going to be key, and I certainly feel a lot of that as we move into warmer weather, as we connect into the spring energy that's coming in May. Uh, a lot of that will be certainly a time for us to get together outside over food and some drinks or to get together uh, with old friends and family um, will certainly be a good thing for all of us to, to, to utilize as we go forward. The second theme I got was regarding more emotional work. This is continuing to be a theme, will always continue to be a theme, is, a theme, is to continue to work on ourselves emotionally, work on our emotional body so that we don't have blocks within us that cause us to be hijacked for agendas that aren't for our highest good. So looking at your emotions, looking at the underlying driving forces of your actions, especially as the collective starts to mirror back a lot of these things that need to change and what comes up emotionally is going to be really important and profound. I recall something about uh, us not getting our needs met and the things that we, you will do to manipulate those around you to get your needs met. I think this is something in line with kind of what I'm talking about here. It's important to examine those things this month. Where are you Where are you not getting your needs met? Where are those emotions not being expressed? And how are you manipulating others so that you can express or get your needs met that may not be for the highest good of you and the relationship which ultimately uh, um, gets conveyed out to the, the collective, right? How are you unconsciously manipulating people that may not be for their highest good just for you to get your needs met because you haven't worked on yourselves emotionally and on yourself energetically to work through all the things that you have got going on. So that's something important to look at as we go through this month. Also, where can you bring a little bit more compassion and sensitivity to what is going on and what is happening? This is especially in regards to relationships uh, in, the, uh, in the lunar eclipse energy, right? The things that you can no longer hide from will be brought up and you will, de you will be faced with that during that time frame within on the fifth year of May. And this is where that emotional work is gonna help you go through that process and uh, help you 
unveil some of the things that may have been hidden to you, like how you manipulate people to meet your needs, etc. All right. The other energy is all about new beginning energy, new beginning energies that are, that are going to come around through action. This is like the physical new beginnings that are occurring in your reality. They're manifesting and that's being done because a lot of you are going to start talking about talking about and taking action this month that will well, that will signify new changes, new beginnings. So we're talking about new jobs, new relationships, new hobbies, new uh, um, new crafts, etc. This is all in alignment with the Mercury and Taurus going direct. Jupiter in Taurus, new moon in Taurus, all the foundations, practical material aspects of our lives are going to start to feel uh, feel like this new uh, potential energy that's going to be supportive for you to go forward and to do something or to do things in alignment with what you want. All right. It feels like the collective is going to be going through this as well. As new energy comes through, we're going to see new truths come up and that's going to shift us into new direction. And hopefully these aren't so mind-blowing, catastrophic type of news that send us in different directions, but ways for us that, uh, uh, that come up so that we can look at ourselves and say, ah, this no longer resonates with me. I'm going to take this energy and utilize it in a different manner that is for the highest good of myself and for the collective. So this could definitely be highlighted towards the last quarter moon in Aquarius. That's around the middle of the month to the to the end of the month as we get all that direct energy and new moon energy in Taurus. Um, love and more self-love continues to be a theme as well. Uh, this will be stronger around the Venus moving into Cancer, especially around your relationships, around the home life, the family matters. It continues to be a theme, and I don't want to. Um, I don't want to. I, I want. I'm going to keep reiterating this part, but I feel um, that some of this, uh, some of this, obviously, always is going to be around the relationship, the romantic relationship, your partner relationship, but it's always also going to be around you, self love for you. So, where do you need connection right now? Where do you need more love in your life now, especially around the lunar eclipse in Scorpio? Where can you give yourself love so that you can allow the things to come up so that you can offer it love, transmute it, move it to a higher vibration and take action in the new moon, uh, new moon in the Taurus, in the Mercury direct and Taurus, all that energy it, it, so that you're in a place for um, that is in your highest good as you move forward. All right. Um, the last theme I'll say is the unknown and the potentials. Potentials and unknowns are everywhere at this moment, and we're being asked to step into the unknown. Although it scares us and we don't know what's happening, the reason why uh, this is being brought up is because although it is the unknown, it also means that there are potentials that things aren't quite written out yet. It's not written out, it's not quite set in stone. The, there is unknowns and there are potentials everywhere. So, 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 so uh, Spirit is asking us in this time period, take this opportunity to step into this, this fool of the unknown and to really take life uh, uh, um, and, and to, to say yes to life. So where can you say yes to life that really ignite who you are in your soul and sets your heart on fire. There is no right or wrong decisions, it just is. There are lots of unknowns right now, but that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It just means there are potentials that can be created and for, and, and, and for you to have this adventurous type of uh, um, primal kind of instinct to say yes to the things that really are igniting you and set you and excite you is how you're going to bridge the difference between the chaos, bad timelines, between the new earth and the higher timelines that are best for you going forward. So does something inside you want to come out and be explored? Does something inside you set your heart that you've been really wanting to do, but you've just been hesitant about it because of all the fear and all the chaos that's happening in the world? If this is so, follow that nudge this month. Follow that nudge. The energy is there to assist you, to help you do that. And I think uh, Spirit is saying, especially with the numerology, with the visions I had, like, don't, don't, don't misuse your power in putting your intention and your vibration to things that just 
aren't that that are going to cause you fear and hesitation and make you feel stuck it's time for you to put your energy in a constructive manner and to move and to take action and to utilize that for your highest good that creates the timelines that are better for you and humanity as you go forward Re- reclaim that power within you and to step into the unknown knowing all the potentials that are there but the thing that you want the thing that you are desiring for it exists and you're going to step into the unknown with this adventurous excitement wondering how the universe is going to bring that to you is going to be such a profound and powerful and joyful way to experience this month that can create so much uh, i would say change and 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 um and timelines and in all these awesome things that could occur in your life if you would just um, um, you know look inside do the emotional work and then see the adventure and look at the potentials and know that the universe is bringing that to you it's just gonna be so good for so many of us and 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 I hope you know it, it could shift so much for all of us uh, uh, for the good as we go forward so um, that's the energy update for this month. I hope all, all of you um, utilize this time frame to do the emotional work, to work through that, understand that change is going to be part of the process, but through the unknown, through the potentials, through the work that you're doing, that you can shift and make the change for the betterment for yourself, but also for the world. So feel free to reach out to me. I love you. We'll talk to you soon.